Hi, this is Lion. Hope everyone is staying safe. Today is going to be our day one in the office for GG Tech to set up office, is set up teams, and go through our strategies and goals for this playthrough. We're in January 1980. We have 25,000 available funds. We're going to get into how we're going to handle everything after the intro. Okay, here we are in the office. Our day one to get everything set up, and then once everything is set up, we'll get our founders in here. That's why we stop the clock. As soon as you get in, into your rental, stop the clock. First order of business is your teams. When you go to teams, you're going to set up the vacation in February. Let's give them 10 months. We're going to have them come in here. In the beginning game, seven, seven to six. Work an extra few hours. We're going to go into employees, select both employees. And one thing I always do is go to change roles, order road to employees that they're doing. Only what they should be doing now. She didn't have enough. She has enough programming and art that we're going to give it to her as a secondary task, or you could give it to her as a primary task. She has enough skill levels that you could give it to her as a primary task. And now we've lost, and now we've lost the design skills, so you could give him design. Let's give it to him primary. We're going to need him too. And marketing, we're not going to need right now, so service levels, we don't need to worry about them now. What I like to do is always select my colors for my teams, keep them green. So in this, you have to, should learn this menu. Employees, we just said that. HR management, we want to do 200,000. That's what I do. Click here, click here for wages and complaints. Don't change for programmers, designers, and artists. I put don't change for service. I put the hired for all service. I put hired for. This is going to go to vacation level three, negative one here. Yeah. Specializations, select all, and selects everything. This is a HR socialization multitasking. I need system 2D and audio in the beginning game. We have hardware too, but I'm not concerned about hardware right now. And we could use marketing, but I'm not concerned about marketing now. We could change those later if we need to. Unless we hire. For programmers, I usually hire big brain or fast learners, depending on how many stars I have. The more stars, the better chance that you get low salary with two stars. And in that case, I would hire fast learners. With less than six stars, I would hire big brain. And it does make a difference. So, one thing a lot of people don't do is here, Hypochondriac, you don't want it. Right mouse click, exit out. Nervous bladder, right mouse click, exit out. Forgetful, right mouse click, exit out. And couple that right mouse click, exit out. You don't want any of these traits. And if you change any of these, you're the one that'll take from the others. Those are the ones you do not want. Causing sick, nervous bladder goes to the bathroom more often. Forgetful occasionally forgets their specialization and occasionally breaks their computer, which is a cup holder. My favorite person. Okay, so that is taken care of. Those are your picks. Uh, medium would be my preferred salary in the beginning game. You can have limited funds. So that takes care of our teams. You're able to set up teams and load them, so let's load a few teams. And here I want to load design. And then we're going to load design again. So it goes to design two. So I got two design teams. I want to load a dev team. Where is my dev team? I'm telling me I don't have a dev team. Okay, let's load our art team. I 
if you want to load two art teams, just load the second one. Art two. No, art. I like giving them a different color. Okay, art teams. And then you can select your art team and save it as a, as a team once you've selected the color. So, okay, we're going to load marketing. We're going to need. So we load it twice. It's marketing, marketing too. Let me get this rid, rid of these two. Repetitive. Okay, accounting we're going to load. And accounting two we're going to load. Now, where do I have accounting and accounting two? And I should have done this for this guy, these guys too. Let me get rid of it. If you go to manage teams here, you go to pick. It says capacitor. For marketing tool, you want night hours. That's going to be a night team. You look at the, the time, it's 7 to 3. That's why you set them up. This should be 11. This should be 4. 4 to 11. So if I wanted to save this now for marketing tool, If I wanted to go select that now again, it would be marketing too. And I put the dash so that I know it's, I set it up. Not the system. Okay, so that's marketing, marketing, accounting, accounting. It's low research. Research and research to remember research too is should be giving me evening hours. And we'll go over why these hours in research are different later on once we get into research. So, who am I missing? Design, art, marketing, accounting, support. Can't forget support. Support, and I don't have a support to set up, so we'll just select them here, change the hours. And once you hire that core team, those hours are going to change once you hire somebody. You can't keep those hours once you hire a full complaint. Okay, kind of set up correctly. So we have marketing day and night, accounting day and night, research day and night, and support day and night. Do you have to set these up in the beginning? No. I like to set up the way I play, so once I get into playing, I don't have to visit this again. So anytime I would visit this again is once we move, once we move, I'll come in here and I'll start adding, or you could do it once you hire leaders, you could start adding your team sizes, your required team sizes, that way if somebody quits, leaves the company, your leader will automatically hire someone in their place. Now this is set to level three, French, who am I supposed to call you could leave this, you play with this. The maximum amount of tasks this team can work on at any given time from the top of the, this. Usually leave that at three. Okay, so next order business is, oh, your server. You have a server in here in the basement. You can't do anything with that server other than use it and name it. You can service it. It will die eventually. But you have a free server, and that'll give you a boost. Once you get into contracts, I'll show you then. In fact, let's go do contracts now. Everything else is set up, right? Only four contracts. We only have four contracts. Normally, we have more than that. We're going to take the horror, but we're going to have... Add, we could read to this. Have all projects files synchronized in one place, which reduces bugs. It makes your employees more efficient when development requires a server. And there's your server. And then you could pick a design team or a development team, but we set our team up to do both. And lead designer, I would not suggest picking anybody in the beginning. This tool you could use to bring your designers' levels up. You have to know how to do it. This is horrible. So we want horrible first. Select your horrible first. Then your bat. Select your bat second. This is mediocre. 
In the beginning, I like to select everything. Why do I like to select everything? If you look here, you got 3,000 for accepting. You got 3,000 for accepting. You got 2,000 for accepting. And you got 3,000 for accepting. That's your upfront money. And the contract gives you upfront money. Penalty cost per bug. Maximum recommended. It's all here. Once you select the contract, it will tell you the contract actually tells you how much upfront money you're going to get. So we went from 25 to 36. What does that mean? That means we have more money. If we were playing on impossible difficulty, you would be able, you would have enough money to set up a table or a desk, two chairs, two laptops, calculator, set up your office, pictures, pictures give you improve the mood in the room. If you look at the picture, you get a moon boost. Room boost on the right hand side says mood, room boost, and also environment. That's set up. Another thing that gives you a boost is a bookshelf. It gives you a skill boost. See the skill boost? You read it there, room boost skill on the right. So we want that. We want a uh, light in this room. Right there, that we can see. The only other thing I need here is a clock, which gives me effectiveness boost. In fact, a clock plus. This says effectiveness 15%. Yeah. Skill 25% and move 10%. That mode, the maximum mode should be 25. Maximum skill is 25. And maximum effectiveness is 15. So, let's add a rug. Now you got 15, 25, 25. You have an office with a mood max, efficiency max, and skills max with boost. Your lux is 400. Your environment is 200. And your temperature, you have no control over that. You are in the rental zone. So that's perfect. So much if we spend it, how much do we have? We have more than what we started with because of our contracts. That's why you set the contracts up front. So we set up our servers. We selected our contracts. We set up our teams. What else is there us to do? We have sitting on $31,000. Let's go into all companies. I'm going to show you guys a little something here. My Big strategy here is look at everything that has zero or one release. We're at zero, that's GG Tech. Shock, UB, Prime, Alarm, and Wing, Bigney, Digital. These things are really uh, testing my uh, pronunciation skills. Okay, so if you want to select the first one, one product, let's look at details. The designer has 88% inspiration and he's skilled in operating system. So chances are this release wasn't for console OS. It released just good. So I think we'll pass on him for now, unless he's better than the other two. This guy product release good operating console two consoles, so they're in com com they're competing against each other. So that makes this our favorite right now. We got four point six percent available as listed. Let's go look at what are they doing. Audio tool good. Everything is good. Nobody's better than good. Come on. Okay, so let's go look at this guy again. Can I have two of these open at one time? And he's good, inspiring, yes. 291 use, users. He already profited $20 million. This guy is released in January. He's good, inspiring, yes. 385,000 users. 
can look at them both at the same time. Okay. This guy's good and inspiring, yes. Oh, September 78. Okay, he's in September 78. This guy's just released. In January of 79. So he's been up for a year. The other guy's been up for two years. So this would be the better prospect. Of 385,000 users, so... If you could look here, you could look at the tech levels. 76, 78, 77, 77, 77. 76, 78, 76, 76, 77, 77 was the other one. So, guess who we're going to go invest in? Yeah. Okay, 4 bill, 199 for a one to get in here. We have 31,000. How much of that 31,000? Click on here. We're going to invest 20,000. We'll get 142 shares. About 15,000, we get 107 shares. I usually try to go for 100 shares. Okay. We're in for 107 shares. That's going to be our first investment. I'll show here 15,000 invested. So we started with 25,000. We have 16,000 available funds. We invested in 15,000. We're sitting on 31,318 value. That's why you watch these videos. That's why you want these strategies. So that is our day one. Once we start this clock, at 7 of 7 of 4 a.m., our founders will be basically in here right away because they're late. I stopped this clock a little late. I should have stopped the minute I opened the window. So that is office setup. We set up the offices. We set up the teams. We invested some funds already. So tomorrow is the founder's first day. We'll walk you through that in the next video. Give you my tips and tricks for getting these done efficiently. So we'll catch up to the next video. When I, once again, I ask that you please like, share, and subscribe to help us with our YouTube algorithms. Keep the channel growing. Special thanks to all our subscribers. We do appreciate you. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Stay safe. Keep those around you safe. Lots out. Thank you.